हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जी डी जी ऑन कैंपस आई एम टी क्रू माई नेम इज़ नवीन सिंह एंड आई एम मैनेजमेंट को लीड एट जी डी जी ऑन कैंपस आई एम टी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म आर लास्ट लैब ऑफ द मॉड्यूल विच इज़ गेट स्टार्टेड विद लुकर चैलेंज लैब सो स्टार्टिंग विद द लैब वी विल सिंपली क्लिक ऑन द स्टार्ट लैब ऑप्शन नाउ ओपन आर गूगल कंसोल इन इनकोगनेटो विंडो नाउ क्लिक ऑन आई अंडरस्टैंड and then click on the check box and click on agree and continue now simply hide the lab uh, right click on open looker and open it also in the incognito window now copy your open looker username paste it over here copy your password and paste it over here now click on login now it will now it will take some time to load until then sorry till then we will complete our task 1 now click on this looker studio and open it in incognito window now click on bl blank report and then choose your country india company name you can enter your name i am typing gdg click on i agree and then continue click on yes to all and then click on continue so from here it is making an issue so we will just simply click on create then on report now it will automatically open the file now this pop up page will open so simply click on big query if this pop up doesn't open up your on your screen so simply just click on add data then you will say see the same interface okay so now we will click on authorize and select our student id now sel click on public data set then choose your lab id now moving back copy this come back here search is here select this one now over here search orders select that and click on add click on add to report now go back click on check my progress our first task is completed so on to our next task now click on sorry now open your this looker okay and then click on develop click on quick labs e-commerce now click on views and also what mistake i have made is come out of here now click on here also when starting with this looker you have to open development mode okay so it will take some time then we will start okay so now click on views sorry don't click on views hover over hover your mouse over the views 
and then click on three dots then click on create view and here come on, come on your task to page and then copy this users region and then paste it over here click on create now remove this text in this file users region view now we will provide you this code in the description box of our video or through a github repo so just copy only this text from view to just here copy this text and paste it over here and click on save changes now click on models and then training ecommerce dot model remove this text also and from here copy this text from connections to the last and then paste it over here and click on save changes then click on validate lookml then click on commit changes and push now enter your name click on commit click on deploy to production now your task 2 is also completed so moving on to our next task in which we have to create a new dashboard in looker so simply in here we will just copy this text no extra space now we will move back to here now open navigation come out of develop now click on explore then click on events now in the search box type event type select that and in here click on sorry search count in the users region click on count now hover your mouse here you will see two arrows now click on the, that arrow sign now and make it descending okay and after that click on run once then when this stops running after that sorry we forgot one step more now set your row limit to 3 then click on run again I have forgot that step now click on visualization and select bar then hover your, hover your mouse sorry click on settings then hover your mouse on save and select to an existing dashboard now the title you have copied paste it over here make sure that it is only this text I will paste it again now make sure that it is only this text that you copied in the title and if you if your title is changed your name is changed then it will make an issue later so make sure don't do any mistake and follow the steps properly now copy this user events don't copy extra space and dot now click on new dashboard paste that over here click on ok now click on save to dashboard now hide this tab go back to your task 3 and click on check my progress 
so your task 3 is 3 is also completed thank you so much for watching this video i hope you find this video helpful and make sure to like and subscribe our channel for more such amazing content thank you so much